May is Trauma Awareness Month, and with me is Dr. Jordan Jacobs of St. Joe Hospital, which is part of Dignity Health. And this is a topic that a lot of people are afraid to talk about when it comes to trauma, because we know that the trauma that we're seeing uh, right in our country are mass shooting traumas, different things like that. But let's talk about what a trauma doctor does first, and then we'll talk about ways we can prevent, prevent some of the trauma that happens in the hospital. So tell me a little bit, doctor, what a trauma doctor is because it's not what everyone thinks it is. Yeah, thanks Brad for having me here and um, recognizing May's Trauma Awareness Month where it's really important for us to speak about this, get it out there and allow people to know what the issues are and what we can do about it. Yeah. So when a lot of people ask me, you're a trauma surgeon, what do you do? You must work in the ER and that's true to a certain extent. So as a trauma surgeon, I lead a team which is at the ready any, any time, day or night to provide the immediate life-threatening so, or the immediate um, surgery procedures for life-threatening injuries that can happen for any reason, whatever the mechanism are. Yeah. Sometimes they come through the emergency department, sometimes they come directly to me, which is an area that kind of have an ER on steroids, which is just my team manages injured patients. And, and that's a very quick place that you go there to help save those lives and to work on those people. Um, let's talk about the trauma that you do see coming through uh, to your team, which is preventable in a way. Um, but the big one is car accidents. Uh, drunk driving um, is one of the big traumas that we are starting to see arise, aren't we? We sure are. Unfortunately, across the country and in the state, uh, trauma-related injuries and death are increasing. And one of the major mechanisms that we have are, are traffic-related injuries. Um, obviously, um, drunk driving is one of the ways that that can be addressed and potentially prevented. The other main thing that we've seen is distracted driving and with all the challenges with cell phones, um, texting while you drive or other ways that those devices which are designed to get our attention um, provide distraction during driving. Unfortunately that's another major way that accidents happen and can be prevented. Yeah, I think also too it's where people are getting back on the road, especially younger people we're seeing a high risk of those accidents happening that are not knowing the road and so it's about getting them the right education, paying attention as you mentioned, putting the phone down. Um, another tragedy that we're seeing, of course, is mass shooting, um, something that is a big topic here. But when it comes to your team, you're there to save them, you're there to help out. And so, again, that's something that we need to bring in light to and talk more about. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very complex problem. And it really is uh, being viewed as an epidemic now, uh, the mass shootings that we're seeing. And unfortunately, they uh, disproportionately impact our young people. And for the first time, um, death by firearm is the leading cause of, of losing a life for somebody that's 19 ages or younger. Yeah. And that's, that's, very, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. And, and that's, of course, where your team is trained in that way. And that's something that you kind of like know you have to be trained for, but you guys are starting to be trained more with it because you're starting to see more people having to be taken care of uh, in that situation. Um, another thing is, is that you are homegrown. I, I have to say that. This is awesome that you've come back home to work here because you know how important this community is. And, and you wanted to help this community. I love this community. I grew up not that far from here. My training took me all over the United States, uh, but I was really thrilled and happy to, to come back and do what I could for the place that raised me. Yeah. All right. As we are, of course, uh, talking about Trauma Month, um, what's some things that we should really look for and to, and to, of course, start to address and to help prevent? Yeah. So wh when we're talking about awareness, um, unfortunately, people oftentimes don't think about trauma until they're tragically in the middle of it. Um, a lot of other areas of healthcare get a lot of uh, more emphasis. Uh, a lot of people don't know that trauma is responsible for more years of life, life lost than any other disease process, including cardiovascular disease or cancer. When somebody, if they were to tragically die in their 40s, that's decades of productivity, of birthdays, of anniversaries that are lost as compared to somebody that would uh, you know, die from something else at a, yeah. at a later age. So these preventive measures are very important and our hospital really works hard on them. Yeah. Can I ask one thing? Yes. Blood, giving blood, is that something that's very important that we could do, especially since, you know, that happens in the trauma area? Yes, and unfortunately, over the, through the course of the epidemic, blood has had an unusually challenging um, shortage and availability, and so that's one very important way that people can get involved and help out. I like it. And of course, the resources. Uh, where can they find more resources and, and working, of course, in recovery? Yeah, there's a lot of great organizations around. The Arizona Trauma Association is one of them, they can, and uh, s events that they sponsor. My own hospital, if you call the main line at 602 406 3000, 
you can ask for our injury prevention coordinator and they can share with you all the host of uh, opportunities where you can get involved and try to prevent what, what are primarily preventable. Yeah. Doctor, I'm so glad you came in. This is perfect. We have information on hazytv.com about what we've been talking about. And of course, um, thank you for, for what you do. And thanks for coming home yeah. and being a part of this community. My pleasure. It's a, it's a heavy sometimes topic, but I like to encourage people that there's hope. Uh, most of these are preventable, and we have a team on the ready to, to, to help you if you need it. Perfect. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. That's it. There you go.